Today, I'm going to show you how easy it is to enhance your layout by using Ricoh's fifth color neon pink. We'll substitute the magenta in the layout with that neon pink, and it's really going to make it pop. Ready to get started? Here we go. All right, so we're going to start in InDesign, and we're going to format the vector type first. The image will pop into Photoshop and take care of that in just a moment. But let's start with the vector in InDesign. We'll create a new spot color first. So go to your swatch palette, top right corner, click New Color Swatch. Color type will be Spot. Swatch name will be Neon P, capital N, capital P. And we'll use 80% magenta as the indicator color, because that's close to what the neon pink looks like when finally printed. All right, so we have our Neon P color swatch there. So all we need to do is highlight the vector type and select the neon pink swatch. OK, there we go. Now we're going to jump into Photoshop. So select your image, go to your Links tab, right click and select Edit Original. Now, depending on your photo editor, that should automatically open it up. So normally it's Photoshop, so we'll pop into Photoshop. There we go. All right, first we're going to make sure that our color mode is set to CMYK for our image. So go to Image, Mode, and click CMYK Color if it's not already CMYK. All right, let's jump into the Channels tab. We'll need to create a new spot channel before we can apply any neon pink in Photoshop. So click on the top right of that corner and select New Spot Channel. We're going to name that Neon P as well. And we'll use 80% magenta as the indicator color in Photoshop. OK, so we have our Neon P Spot Channel. And what we're going to do is we're going to pull the magenta out of that channel layer. So we're going to select All. We can use Command A as well. So highlight your magenta channel, select All, now before you cut, confirm that your foreground is set to 100% black. If it's white, it'll be adding magenta, not subtracting it. All right, so go to Edit, Cut, or Command X. And you can see the lack of magenta in the image. Now click on the Neon P Spot Channel. We're going to paste that information right in the same place. So we use Shift Command V, Paste Special, and Paste in Place. All right, so now that information is on the Neon P, and if you turn off the CMYK color channels, you can see the isolated Neon P color channel. OK, we are ready to save our file. So let's save that as a PSD, adding Neon P to the file name. Ensure that Spot Colors is checked, and click Save. Now we're going to pop back in InDesign. All right, so we need to relink our image. So go to your Links tab once again, click on the chain, and then find that new PSD. Now don't worry if the color channel doesn't show up in the finder. It can't process that color channel, but trust me, it's there. All right, so we'll click Open. And you'll notice the image looks slightly different, and that's because the neon P is applied in that PSD. So now we're ready to export this file. Go to File, Export, or Command-E. We'll add a shorter file name with a neon P on the end. And we'll click Save. We'll use the preset PDFX4 so the Fire Command workstation will know where to apply the neon pink. And if you want to add marks or bleeds, you can do that now. All right, now let's check our PDF. All right, with our PDF open, if you don't see print production, in the top right corner. Swing over to the left side, click Tools, go down to Protect and Standardize, and click Print Production. Now with that Output panel on the top right, click Output Preview. That'll bring up the Separations panel. Now confirm that Simulate Overprinting is checked, and then head on down to the Process Plates. Now at the very bottom, you'll see the Neon P as a spot plate. Click that on and off a few times. That shows you exactly where the Neon P spot channel will fall. You can also mouse over and see the separation in total area coverage. It'll show a different percentage wherever the mouse cursor is. You can even turn off the CMYK plates to isolate the neon pink. All right, now that we've confirmed the presence of our fifth color, you're ready to print your file.
So that's how easy it is to use Ricoh's fifth color neon pink to enhance your design.